In the figure below not drawn to scale, WXYZ is a rhombus and BWX is an equilateral triangle. Angle WZY is equal to 80 degrees. Find this angle, ABW. Let's start from the first information. WXYZ is a rhombus. So what do we know about the length property of rhombus? It is, they have equal length on all four sides. So let me mark it out. This is the same as this, same as this, same as this. Moving on, BWX is an equilateral triangle. So if you have memorized the properties of equilateral triangle, this would be 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. Okay, so right now let's figure out which angle is the easiest to start. Looking around the figure, over here, not really. This, not really. Nope. 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 This, of course, the answer can't be the first step. And nope. So we are just left with this. We can probably start from this angle. How? Using the adjacent angle properties of a rhombus. Which means this angle and this 80 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. Let me write it over here. This shall be angle Z, W, B. So I'll take 180 degrees minus 80 minus 60. And that will give us 40 degrees. Let me mark it out here. All right, 40 degrees. What can I find next? Again, using the same property. Adjacent angles must add up to 180 degrees in a rhombus. So 40 plus 60 plus 60 plus this angle over here must be equal to 180 degrees. Again, I'm going to mark it out. This is angle B, X, Y. So 180 degrees minus the 100 here and then minus the 60 here. So that in total is minus 160 degrees. And that will be 20 degrees. Let me mark it up. Yeah. Next. By now, you should be able to notice that B, X, Y is an isosceles triangle, which means these two angles over here are the same. Now, in order to figure out what is this angle over here, which will lead us to the answer. Over here, this is angle X, B, Y. I'm going to take 180 degrees minus the 20 degrees and then divide it by 2. So, it's 160 divided by 2. That will give you 80 degrees over here. Now we can finally figure out the answer using angles on a straight line. So 80, 60 and here will be 180 degrees. Over here, angle A, B, W, 180 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 80 degrees. And that will give us the answer of 40 degrees.